All right, well, well, good evening and welcome. Today we are here to celebrate Mayor Rusty Bailey. It's a little unconventional the way we're doing it. Uh, due to some circumstances, we needed to move and, and go to an all-virtual presentation. We have residents and communities watching us on Facebook and YouTube. So although the, we can't be here in person, Mayor, they are here with us. We are all here with you in a step towards a new adventure. So please know, and we're going to have fun tonight with that. So we'll start, we'll, yeah, that's right. We'll start with an inv invocation by Glenn Roden, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by Chief Larry Gonzalez. I always smile in these masks, but I wonder, does anybody know, you know, what you got? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's great to be here with you, brother. And uh, the first thought I had was, you know, when you first started this gig uh, and we needed to save the cross up there on Mount Rubidoux. And what a what a great start and a great memory. It's uh, one of the things that I just think that uh, I'm very, very proud of you for stepping into that and those that you gathered together to make that happen. So... <sighs> Father, uh, so grateful for today, for your love for us, for an opportunity, Lord, to celebrate uh, my brother Rusty and what he has meant to this community over these last 13 years of service. Lord, he has um, always cared deeply for this city and done what he felt in his heart was right for this city. And all along honoring you, uh, as he went along the way. Lord, thank you for Judy and Elizabeth and Julia as they've been along for this ride and the sacrifice that this family has made to serve this community and be the people that they have been for us all these years. Uh, I look forward to the new adventures and pray your blessing on them as they go forward. And Lord, I know they're excited to have a new opportunity, but uh, may this night be very uh, honoring to the Bailey family, and uh, most of all to you. In your name, amen. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, please rise and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, Mayor, Judy, Bailey family. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can. That's right. That's right. You don't. You don't want me to sing the national anthem, but yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'll be. <laughs> That's it. All right. I would uh, like to take a moment now to recognize members of our city council and city management. So council member Aaron Edwards from Ward 1, council member Andy Melendrez, Ward 2, council member Ronaldo Fierro, Ward 3, council member Chuck Condor, Ward 4, council member Gabby Placencia, Ward 5, council member Jim Perry, Ward 6, city manager Al Zalinka, assistant city manager Leah Deesing, Assistant City Manager Rafael Guzman, and Deputy City Manager Moises Lopez. And a special thank you to Tilden Coil Constructors and Brian Jaramillo for their generous sponsorship of this program tonight. It's a wonderful day here in Riverside, and we recognize and celebrate Mayor Bailey. Riverside is a city rich in history and community pride, and tonight is a great example of that. So what do we know about this mayor? We know he is loved, he's loved serving this city, this great city as our mayor, in the place where he was born and raised, his hometown, the place where he and Judy chose to raise their girls as generations of Baileys have before. He's leveraged relationships to build stronger partnerships and raise awareness and recognition for our city. And moreover, he is focused on making Riverside a community that is fair and equitable for everyone. As the mayor's term is ending, he has finished strong and transitioned well, 
and the residents of Riverside and myself are looking forward to continuing a wonderful relationship with you, Mayor Bailey. So I congratulate him and his family on these accomplishments and for his service to the community and the city of Riverside. So tonight, this may feel a little bit like this is your life, all right? And we know and hope you'll enjoy it. And we'll start tonight with a video by Senator Richard Roth. Rusty, congratulations on your incredible tenure as Riverside's mayor, the best mayor in the state of California. You know, I remember your hard fight campaign in 2012. I'm sure you do too. Although it's been eight years, it seems like only yesterday to me. During your time as mayor and as a city councilman, you've left quite a legacy for our city, this region, and our state. From seizing our destiny to saving the Mount Rubidoux Cross, from helping to bring the Air Resource Board Southern California headquarters to Riverside, along with over 450 new jobs, to finally putting an end to homelessness for our Riverside veterans. Your accomplishments are truly legendary. You've certainly made our part of the world a lot better, my friend. I hope our paths cross again, but in the interim, on behalf of the, the entire California State Senate, please accept our thanks for a job extraordinarily well done. Thank you, Senator Roth. Next, we, ha we, we have a proclamation from County Supervisor Karen Spiegel, so we'll, we'll see that real quick. So that will go to you afterward, obviously, and you get to hang it with many of the others that you probably have around in the office. Yes, yes. And next we have uh, Ann Mayer from Riverside County Transportation Commission with a video. Mayor Bailey, on behalf of the RCTC team, I would like to express our sincerest appreciation to you for your leadership over the years on the RCTC board. You did an outstanding job representing the city of Riverside, the county of Riverside, and Southern California as a whole. During your tenure, we had some exciting projects and programs. We extended the Paris Valley line, providing additional Metrolink service to Riverside. We had grade separation projects, and we embarked on some new innovative ideas. You always encouraged us to look to the future to see what we could become and we know that Riverside County is a better place because of your leadership. Congratulations to you and thank you again. So there, there have been many projects and highlights throughout the years and sometimes they come to fruition in the most interesting ways. I'll let Andrew Walker tell you the rest of this story. One of the first times I got to really interact with Mayor Bailey was in 2015 when he asked me to take a ride with him. And by a ride, I mean a three-day bus tour to Arizona. So what do you do with your mayor for three days in Arizona? You visit different cities to gather some intelligence for best practices. Well, what happened in Arizona luckily didn't stay in Arizona. And Rusty took what we learned and applied it into making City Hall a much better place to do business in. The concept of streamlined Riverside, filled Riverside, and the one-stop shop were created on the bus ride home. And an intensive two-year revamp of how business is conducted in City Hall has resulted in one of the best places to develop projects in California. Thank you, Rusty. Rusty. I'm still not sure that my family believes I was really on a bus with you for three days. You owe me, buddy. So some helpful advice to you all. Um, if the mayor asks you to take a ride, you might want to ask a few more questions, maybe where we're going. Seriously, though, the ideas on that bus ride that were developed through conversation with staff, electeds, and key stakeholders has changed the way business is done in our community, making it more efficient, timely and business friendly. So thank you, Mayor Bailey. Now we have the president of the Greater Riverside Chambers of Commerce, Cindy Roth. Hello, Mayor Bailey. It's Cindy Roth with the Greater Riverside Chambers of Commerce. I want to thank you for the leadership you have shown during the past eight years and the way you have represented our city. 
i'm especially thankful for your efforts to get the city of riverside back to the tournament of roses parade for the first time in sixty years it was a great way to honor the wayne and kelly roberts the keepers of the inn for what they have done for riverside everything from reopening the historic mission in hotel and spa to the world renowned festival of lights with 37 million people watching the rose parade every year the float was a great representation of our city and introduced Riverside to millions of potential visitors and investors. I know your feet were probably a little sore after walking the nearly six mile route of the parade, but the sight of you and your beautiful family walking alongside the float with you tossing oranges to people along the route, that was priceless. This event almost three years ago was a great moment for Riverside. Thank you for making that happen and for everything you have done for Riverside. Thank you, Cindy, for sharing your experiences with the mayor on that once in a lifetime experience for our community, the parade there, the Rose Parade. Please welcome now board chair for Riverside Public Utilities, David Crone. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I want to thank you for your leadership and your collegiality over the past few years. Uh, together, the board, uh, yourself, city council have accomplished a lot. We've all survived a drought together. Uh, we have a plan for furthering the development of our utility called Utility 2.0 that's going to take us into the next century. We've negotiated a rate increase that's going to keep us sustainable for the next few years. And uh, we have uh, a new plan, or actually a, a plan that we're putting into place now called RTRP that's going to bring electricity in in a new way into the city that's going to add redundancy and provide additional security for our businesses and our homes. Uh, I want to thank you so much for your example, for inspiring so many people like me and my colleagues to serve our city. Your example has really been inspirational and, uh, and we all have a lot of gratitude in our heart for all your contributions to our community and to ourselves. Thank you, David. So next, we're going to hear from the mayor's chief of staff, Cheryl Marie Hansberger. This will be good. Hey, Mayor. Thank you for representing Riverside Well and Regional Board. Your ability to grasp complicated issues and form relationships was instrumental in shaping the regional housing needs assessment methodology to both prioritize desperately needed housing and smartly align the location of that housing with job and transportation centers. Your successful bid to gain Riverside membership in the Big City Mayor's Coalition has delivered our city $40 million in direct allocations in the past two years alone. Riverside has never enjoyed such respect, and this is because of your leadership and more importantly, your integrity. Thank you, Mayor Bailey, for being a godly man and always doing the right thing, even when doing the right thing was a really lonely place to be. Your city is grateful for your service, and we salute the lasting impact that you have had on our region. Blessings as you move forward to answer God's call. Our team is proud of you. Thank you, Cheryl. Riverside is rich in business with companies and individuals that represent the best of Riverside nationally and internationally. And one of those people is Gordon Bournes. So please turn your attention to Mr. Gordon Bournes. Hi, Rusty, Gordon Bournes here. It has been a, a real joy to work with you and, and Judy and your daughters, Elizabeth and Julia, uh, on a number of community uh, projects. In fact, I have uh, a uh, good memory of our walking up Mount Rubido and watching uh, uh, our city down below us and thinking how important it was, uh, in fact, as we looked over at the solar panels uh, about uh, taking good care of our community. I remember our trip to Erlangen, Germany, where we saw the uh, long night of science, and we converted that into the long night of arts and innovation. And you and I have worked together on a number of programs to encourage our students to um, pursue educations and careers in STEM. Uh, our STEP program, uh, Science and Technology Education Partnership, uh, with your help created uh, the STEM in law enforcement and public safety, STEM LEAPS, uh, working with uh, the police and fire departments and 
and then our STEM public utilities program, uh, STEM poll. And I, I was honored to be a speaker at the uh, Mayor's Entrepreneur Bootcamp where with Will Ferguson, we also ran the business simulation program. And that gave me um, a lot of good ideas that we've incorporated when we had to go online this year. Uh, and Will Ferguson, again, was a, a resource for us when we had our summer learning labs uh, all online. Um, earlier this year, hard to believe, it was just January, um, you and Elizabeth came out to Habitat for Humanity and with uh, Kathy Mahalik, we built uh, the doors and, and some of the uh, wall panels for the homes that are being built over on uh, Mulberry Street. And it was great to, to work with you and the, the students who were learning about uh, how you build, manufacture, in effect, uh, homes. But I appreciate your involving me early on, too, in the planning for the Youth Innovation Center. And as it came together, I couldn't think of a a better way for my family to thank you and, and thank the community of Riverside than to um, be a, a donor to the uh, Youth Innovation Center. And we're glad too, but it's now called the Bourne's Family Youth Innovation Center. The makerspace and the recording lab uh, studio, the uh, computer laboratory, and the general uh, creative feel of the Youth Innovation Center is gonna really encourage uh, creativity in our students. Why, well, Rusty, I wish you uh, a great next chapter as you go on with Path of Life to serve the homeless in our community too. We will miss you, but we, we know that you will be there doing, continuing to do great work. So thank you and uh, look forward to working with you in your next chapter. Thank you, Gordon. Now we have a message from University of California Riverside Chancellor Kim Wilcox. In 1870, John North looked around at a bunch of scrub desert and said, this would be a great place for a community, and founded the Southern California colony right here in Riverside. And a few years later, Matthew Gage said, I bet with water, we could grow citrus here. And of course, dug the Gage Canal and the rest is history. Those are two individuals, among many in the history of our community, who had a vision for what the future might be. And I'm so proud to have worked with Mayor Bailey these last several years on one of his key visions, the Innovation District. Uh, Rusty has looked around and said, Riverside can be something even better in the future, and founded the notion and now the reality of an Innovation District. Now, I work at UC Riverside, not Nordstrom's, not Sears or Penney's, uh, but we're proud to be an anchor tenant in the Mayor's vision of an Innovation District. And I can tell you personally, Rusty, what a joy it has been to work with you as a colleague and a friend. Your candor, your support, your humor, and your vision have made all the difference for me here at the university, for our university, and of course, for the city of Riverside. So thanks so much for the friendship, for the leadership, for the vision, for the wisdom, for the candor, and best of luck in the future. Thank you, Chancellor. Our next presentation is by Dr. Carlos Cortez. Hi, Rusty, it's Carlos Cortez. I wanna thank you for, particularly for the tremendous leadership you've shown in making Riverside a more inclusive community. You know, as, as chair of the Mayor's Multicultural Forum, I've worked with you very closely. And one of the things I noticed was how you truly do believe in inclusiveness, even though it's become a buzzword these days. And I, and I particularly remember when we started work this past August on the anti-racism vision statement. Uh, the idea came up out of the forum. You were quick, decisive, jumped on it and said, yes, let's do it. And then you went one step further and said, yeah, not only let's do it, let's get it ready for me by the end of September so that we can have it ready to present to the city council in October. And it was that quick, decisive leadership to be inclusive uh, that I really admire. But the thing I'm going to miss is not working with you as much. Uh, I remember as chair of the forum, and you would come to all the meetings, and each person who walked in the room, you would walk up to them and converse with them as if they were old friends, which they may have been, but it was that openness and direct, and direct uh, ability to communicate with them, which was so positive. And finally, I got to thank you for my wife, 
And she says, one of the things she's amazed about you is you may not see her for six or eight months, and suddenly you pick up on the conversation on ideas she's had for the city. You, you start talking about those immediately. I don't know where you get that kind of a memory, my friend, but it's going to serve you well in the future. In other words, thanks again, not only for what you've done for Riverside, but for your personal friendship. I'm going to miss you. Thank you, Dr. Cortez. His words really illustrate for me the commitment of Mayor Bailey to finish strong and his passion for consistently doing what is right for our community and always valuing relationships that are created. Please join me now in welcoming our Chief of Police, Larry Gonzalez. Thank you, Judy. Uh, I'll be brief. The mayor, um, thank you for your service. And it was about 13 years ago when you were a young councilman, and I was a young lieutenant area commander, and I have, I covered the area which was part of your ward. And I remember we hit it off immediately. And um, I was always able to talk to you about issues, which I appreciated because sometimes the police aren't always looked at in the best light. You were always an advocate for us, and you always helped us work with the community to develop a solution that we could all be happy with. So I appreciate that and I remember that. You've always been supportive of your department, especially uh, during the difficult times. I know you as a, uh, a brand new mayor had to, well, you walked through the, the pain of uh, a loss of, of Ryan Bonamini, one of our officers, and then 18 months afterward, Mike Crane. And um, more even as recent as this year with two detectives that we lost, Aaron Brandt and Ronell Newton. Those are things that go a long way with the police department and uh, things that we never forget, so we appreciate that. Personally, um, you've always been there for me. Um, you've always lent your ear to me. You give me some good advice. 99% well, of it was good <laughs> advice. Um, but, uh, but I was absolutely honored to uh, have you swear me in um, as the 22nd Chief of Police here on the other side, so thank you for that. Uh, you always end your talks with... God bless Riverside, Riverside Pride. I know you honestly feel that way about it. And I feel the same way about this police department, so I know where you're coming from. And I know you truly love this, you know, your beloved city. And on behalf of the entire Riverside Police Department, um, we're, we wish you luck in the next chapter of your life. And it goes without saying that you'll always be a part of the Riverside PD family as well. So thank you. Thank you, Chief. And we also have tonight with us Fire Chief Michael Moore. We'll say a few words. Thank you. Well, thank you. I wasn't invited to the party, but I decided to crash it anyway. <laughs> no, it just gives me great pleasure because I know you have a soft spot in your heart with your family for the fire department. Uh, you've always been great to the, the men and women of the Riverside Fire Department, and we love you, and they love you dearly, and we just look forward to seeing you around town. We will still have a relationship, obviously, with your your new assignment. We'll get to see plenty of you, and we um, I did bring you something today just uh, because I know you love the fire station and you love to eat, so <laughs> we were able to um, give you a, um, a dinner for four, yeah. which there's the four, uh, at the fire station. Don't try to do this four times. It won't work. Just <laughs> one time, and we just um, invite you and, and look forward to working with you. One of the personal uh, memories that I always will share will be um, our trip to uh, Mexico with our sister cities in Kuala. Uh, we had about a week of a, just a great time, and I was able to bring my wife, and she got to meet you up close and personal, and, and we had, you know, great adventures, you know, hiking and doing different things on that trip, and that's something that I will always remember and cherish and look forward to other opportunities like that as we still embrace our sister cities, and hopefully I'll have you along when we bring them or when we go to visit them. So, again, thank you, and I, too, uh, serve the opportunity of having you swear me in, and I hope I haven't disappointed in the last um, almost seven years. So I will continue to do a great job and remember you, and and um, look forward to seeing you around town. So thank you again.
Next we have with us here uh, Ward 4 Councilmember Chuck Conder. I'm a little undressed because we had a change and I changed cars and left the sport coat in the other car. So I, I feel like I crashed the party. I, yeah, I crashed. Hey, I brought the boots for you. Um, you know, it's been a pleasure working with you for 13 years. We came in the building at the same time. And many don't know that we didn't have the easiest to start between you and I. But our faith, we understand that God puts us here to do the work for the people and the work for the city of Riverside. So we quickly found common ground. And we have worked well together, I think, for majority of that 13 years. It's been a pleasure. We've come, done a lot together. Um, I always say about the military that the family serves as much as the, as the military member. So to Judy, to Elizabeth, to Julia, you served too. There were times that dad couldn't be places because he had another responsibility. So you get him back for a while. So congratulations to you. To the <laughs> no, come on, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, so you, you get him back, and you'll enjoy the time with him again. But thank you to, to the three of you for letting us have him for 13 years. And, Rusty, thanks to you for, for what you did. You're not going anywhere. You know, the Lord being willing, I'll be around a while, and you're going to be here, and we have each other's phone numbers. So uh, thanks, buddy, for what you did. And uh, Ura, thanks so much, buddy. Thank you. And now we'll turn our attention to a video by Rich Erickson. Hi, I'm Rich Erickson, the current board chair of Path to Life Ministries. I look forward to working with Rusty Bailey in his next chapter. And I really see this as his next chapter. His heart and commitment to people, and specifically those in need, are unmatched. I don't know anyone else who would have left their, the confines of their own home to move into a temporary <laughs> pallet shelter in late fall to understand the issue of homeless, homelessness and bring better attention and awareness to that cause. When our board went looking for what we felt like was the irreplaceable Damien O'Farrell who, who, who took another position, we wanted someone with the heart for the cause and the passion and the credibility to make change in our community. And we really feel like we found it. Two of our board members, Melina Boswell and Aaron Phillips say, we found our unicorn. And we really feel like we did. We felt like we, we had the unique individual that can satisfy all those needs. Lastly, Housing First, which we hear a lot about, the Housing First approach uh, will take money and collaboration, and I think Rusty can bring that together on both a local level and a regional level. Rusty, I look forward to working with you in your next endeavor. I can't wait. All right, thank you for highlighting the great work from the mayor and his staff who work so diligently on behalf of individuals experiencing homelessness, including our veterans and the homeless. So Mayor Bailey, with the help of your staff, the next video is from a friend and colleague, but not from Riverside. Good evening, everyone. I'm Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti, and I am so honored to be a part of this celebration for my dear friend and brother, Mayor Rusty Bailey. Now, we all know that Rusty is a modest guy, and he's probably not entirely comfortable with all of us singing his praises. So I'm grateful he's allowed a couple of us this opportunity to give him the send off he deserves for 13 years of dedicated service to the city of Riverside, including eight as your extraordinary mayor. Over the years, I've been privileged to work closely with Rusty. He was my brother in arms at the Southern California Association of Governments, where we fought to ensure that our five county region was building the housing necessary to end our housing and homelessness crisis. And we stood shoulder to shoulder up in Sacramento working to make sure that state leaders took our homelessness crisis seriously and deliver the resources our cities deserve to bring all of our neighbors home. And it's around the issue of homelessness that we've seen Rusty's ability to bring people together and to get results. He's been an innovator in developing new solutions to our state's most intractable crisis by pioneering the tiny home model that LA and dozens of other cities across California are now implementing. And under his watch, Riverside became the first large county in California to get a functional zero for veterans' homelessness. I'm from the Navy, he's from the Army. But we put that rivalry down, and I love him for his service and for what he's given Riverside and our entire region. And I know as CEO of Path of Life Ministries, he is answering God's calling. He is answering his heart, and he is going to be giving back to his community and to our golden state. 
The work never stops, and we know, Rusty, you won't either. So my brother, I wish you all the best. Here's to great puzzles to solve in the future. Here's to great things to do side by side. And here's to making people's lives just a little bit better and fulfilling God's mission. I think we could all see the friendship between two colleagues, two mayors who share a commitment to equity for all residents of their cities. Their relationship of one is one of many the mayor developed while serving on the regional boards, representing Riverside with distinction. And through this work, as part of the big city mayor's group, Mayor Bailey brought approximately 40 million, as we heard earlier, 40 million dollars in direct state funding for Riverside between 2019 and 2020. The ability to build those relationships and find common ground with other elected and appointed leaders has helped us as a community make Riverside better for all residents. Great accomplishment. Thank you so much, Mayor Bailey. Now please turn your attention to a message from Sarah Thompson about a project that is very dear to the mayor's heart. Hey, Mayor Bailey, it's Sarah from the Grove Village. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much um, for the program that you started. Uh, I never thought that I'd find myself or my children in um, a homeless situation. Um, and because of the Grove Village and that program, we were able to um, have a safe place to be able to um, reconnect and start anew. Um, and it, had it not been for that in this program, I don't know where we would be. Um, so I am beyond blessed. My children are beyond blessed. They told me to say thank you from them since they can't be here. Um, so we are now in our own home, and if it was not for this program, we probably wouldn't be here. So I just want to say thank you so much, uh, Mayor Bailey. We are beyond blessed by this program and you. Sarah, thank you for sharing. The Love Your Neighbor initiative has seen faith communities committed to helping our neighbors without homes. And we are so happy that Mayor Bailey and the faith communities created this initiative that now has become a best practice. And that's a great testament to the amazing work that's been done. So thank you, Mayor Bailey. Now turn your attention to the screen to hear from the people who know him best, his family. Hey, Dad. I know you've heard this a million times, but we are all so proud of you. And I'm so thankful to have had a dad who, even though if people came up to me asking, oh, how is it like being your dad being mayor? I just never thought of it in an official way. You were always my dad and you always balanced that super well. And even talking to people um, around me, I, I felt included because, you know, you would keep me as your daughter. And um, thank you for just balancing and attending our sports events and being my dad and being such a role model. Hey dad, as we're all gonna say, I'm so proud of you and I love you so much. You have been in public service my entire life and I'm honestly thankful for that because that is such a huge part of who you are and I am just so happy to have you as my dad. I'm so blessed that I have a dad who cares so much about our community and houses homeless people and helps everyone that he can and you're such a huge role model and you've throughout these eight years you've never once questioned your faith or your morals and i'm just so proud of you i love you so much hey babe we're all very proud of you as it has been said a few times now but um i just want to say it's been a wild ride uh from you just barely getting in the door you hadn't even moved into your mayoral office and you had to deal with the Christ christopher dorner uh, tragedy and you remain, you remain so calm and kept your composure and were such a strong leader right out the gate. And then from then, that the beginning that way and ending with this coronavirus uh, chaos, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And again, being a strong voice of leadership and positive example, and then all the things in between, all the celebrations of opening uh, museums and libraries and, and the, of course the Grove Village, which my, couldn't be prouder of you for, for that project and being the mastermind of that. But most importantly, you've been an amazing husband and an incredible father to these beautiful young ladies. And um, we're looking forward to what the next chapter brings. Love you.
Thank you, Judy, Elizabeth, and Julia for sharing, and for sharing your husband and the father with the city of Riverside for the last 13 years. You said he has been a role model for so many in our community, and that means it took time, though, as Councilmember Condor said, from, from, from you. And we thank you from our community for the sacrifices you've made to support, love, and help our Mayor Rusty Bailey. You get credit for it, too, right? So thank you. Please welcome now City Manager Al Zelenka. Mayor Bailey, Judy, Julia, Elizabeth, good to be with you and everyone else. Um, to begin, uh, Mayor Bailey in this little card is, is a lot of thoughtfulness from your executive team. Um, and that means every single department in the city. I'm just gonna read what we wrote to you and then I'll have some comments myself. So congratulations, Mayor Bailey, on your incredible tenure of service with the city of Riverside. You have shown the city team great respect and care. Everyone was talking about how you would get up early in the morning and have coffee with, with the team. And your enthusiasm, dedication, and vision have inspired us time and again. Your leadership has made a difference in the community, and you have positive, positively shaped the city by helping people, facilitating investment and innovation, and setting policy direction that will better this community for generations. We know you love cycling. We well remember Squeaky. <laughs> and your love for Zion National Park and other outdoor places. Please enjoy this gift certificate to Petals and two National Park annual passes for you and your family. We are grateful for having served under your leadership and we wish you and Julia and Elizabeth and Judy nothing but goodness in the days and years ahead. To use your own words, you have instilled Riverside pride in each and every one of us and that'll carry on with us for our careers here. Thank you. For me personally, Mayor Bailey, I came here as a wet behind the ears, relatively new public servant, didn't know much about government, and you invested a lot in me, and you saw in me things I didn't see in myself. I appreciate you. I appreciate your office and your team. You're going to be missed, but we're forever going to be grateful for you because you're a great man, great husband, great father. And you inspire me, you inspire all of us. So thank you. Thank you, Al. Now this isn't in the lineup, but I'm just gonna take a minute to personally say something as well. I remember one of the first things I asked you when I was getting ready to run, um, should I do this? And you remember what you said, right? You said, I can talk you into this or I can talk you out of it. Well, I can say I'm glad that you were talked into it or you committed to it. Um, and uh, for this long and, and all the good work that you've done, just a remarkable imprint on this community and, and it, will have, it will last for years to come. So thank you for that. Thank you for inspiring me to also participate in service to our community. Mayor Bailey, can you please now stand by the easel here in front of us? The city of Riverside would like to give you a memento of your time. So now you can open this gift. We will wait. You have confidence. <laughs> I have confidence. We will wait and see. I was trying to be delicate because this it looks like be belly. Yeah, Margie, you may need it might to. might be easy to tear from the back. There you go. Oh! oh. That's all right. I told you. you had I told you. So the, the pictures, we just want to say that the pictures that make up your last name, Bailey, 
our projects, events, programs, and pictures of your legacy here in the community. Small little pictures of all the many things that you've done. So it's a reminder um, of a, a many, many years of work. So you can hang that somewhere close and dear to you. <laughs> my, my wife said this is the one thing I can bring home from my office. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So good, good. Home. That's it. So let's see, and now, Mayor Bailey, it is your turn here at the podium. Oh, man, I ho I th hopefully I'm cried out by now. Um, and, and I'm glad I have a mask on so you can't see my quivering lips as I speak. And, and I really don't have any prepared remarks, and I don't really want to give a speech. That was the one thing I asked. Can I just sit and listen and enjoy? And that's what Margie told me to do, sit down and enjoy. And I have done that, and so thank you. Thank you, thank you to all involved. It has been an adventure, and I love adventure. And uh, I'm sa I'm sorry to go during this time. Uh, I know, though, that Patricia Locke Dawson, our friend, and um, will be a a great mayor as well. And I know that she she has the the capability to continue the momentum that we have have created over the last you know, many years with, with Mayor Loveridge uh, preceding me. And you can't do anything as a mayor without awesome staff. And I have had awesome staff, you know, and I want to thank particularly Maureen Kane, my first chief of staff, and then as you heard from Cheryl Marie Hansberger, Dr. Hansberger, my current chief of staff, an incredible um, witness to, to what we've accomplished with such a small crew in the mayor's office. But... Uh, I think we punched above our weight, and we definitely made a difference. And Mom always told me, you know, make places better. Make places better, wherever you go. So I'm grateful for my parents, my family. You taught me how to be the mayor. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. I think that's a, a good way to finish off this time together. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, thank you to the Grove Community Church that was going to host this and for Tilden Coyle for sponsoring this and for Margie and her team and, and Al and his team and, and Cheryl and, and, and my team for bringing this to fruition. And pulling it off during a, a pandemic. <laughs> crazy. This is just crazy. That's all I that's that's how I should finish this. This this is just crazy. But uh it's necessary for us to continue uh, to be healthy and safe and, and that's number one uh, for for us as a city. That's what we do. The mission of the city of Riverside is to provide high quality municipal services to ensure a safe, inclusive, and livable community. And and again, I think I think I've done that, um, and that was, again, because of the incredible work of all the departments and staff and community that supported me. Um, you, you, can't, you can't do anything without support as an elected official, as a leader. And so I've had incredible support from this community, from this city and beyond to be able to get those things done that were mentioned tonight. It wasn't me. Uh, it was a team effort, Team Bailey. God bless you all, and thank you, Riverside, for giving me this honor. We're almost done. We got one more, well, just one more thing. And yeah, we may, and we have to, may, may have to do this when we're not in a crazy time, just so we can all be together in a space, because I think it's, it's great. But uh, again, special thank you to, 
Tilden Coyle and Brian Harmio for their generous sponsorship of this program tonight and their long continuous support and friendship with uh, our friend Mayor Bailey. So thank you Mayor Bailey for your service, thank you to your family, thank you from your community. As we've heard you say many times, job well done. Thank you for joining us all uh, watching and here um, to, to for this occasion. And now please join me in congratulating our mayor one last time in his favorite way to end an, <laughs> to end an event. And I think some of you have the nice hip hip hooray um, devices in your hands, but three hip hip hoorays for our mayor, uh, Mayor Bailey. One last time, here we go. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. All right, all right. Thank you all, and now we will say good night.